What up fam? Welcome back to 88-Bit Tech. I'm AJ and today we are talking about Kmart. If you were born in the 90s then you know that Kmart was the place to be but it is a dying breed in the states. However, you'd be surprised to learn that Kmart is alive and well in the land of Oz. Kmart is to Australians as Target is to Americans. Minus the grocery part. You can get snacks and stuff from the Kmart here but not like actual uh, a food shop like Target's in the US. However, it has everything else, including gaming accessories like this guy. This is the Anko Mini Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. 60% layout that you can get from Kmart in Australia for 25 AUD. So roughly around 16 US dollars. But is it any good? And today we are modding this keyboard to make it sound infinitely better than stock. So what do you guys think? All the mods cost less than $3. The whole point of the video was to take a cheap mechanical keyboard and make it sound better. And I think we absolutely accomplished that. I know that there is a lot of contention when it comes to using Vaseline or petroleum jelly as a lubricant for your keyboard. However, like I said, I didn't want to spend a lot of money and this is what I had around. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch out my main keyboard on my main rig. Uh, I have a Keychron key, uh, mechanical keyboard, but I'm switching it with this $16 modded mechanical keyboard from Kmart. And I'm going to use it in the long term and do a long term review down the line. We'll see how well the Vaseline holds up over time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.